Greetings! Stay a while and listen. To me, Marauder X, as we play more Shining Soul 2. Alright, so we are going to go back to town. And the Angel Wing is interesting. It acts kind of like a portal, a town portal in Diablo, where when you're in a dungeon, it'll take you back to town, and there's the portal that takes you back to where you were in the dungeon. Angel basically does the same thing. She will pick you up and carry you from the dungeon back to town, and then you can use her and she'll carry you right back to the same spot. So, uh, if you leave town, she's like, screw it, I'm off, you don't need me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go away. Uh, and so you can't, if you leave town, you can't use her to get back to where you were in that dungeon. Uh, because it just kind of resets all dungeons. So, we're gonna come up here, and we are going to identify some stuff. So this lovely young lady will identify things for a fee, of course. So right now it's not super expensive, but I, I feel like it gets more expensive as time goes on. And the odds of you spending money to identify something that's not super useful is higher. Um, so like we get Bandana of Power plus two, which that's actually not bad. Um, we get summon level one of wisdom we can't do anything with that so identifying that was kind of pointless but because it does have a, a subtitle it's it's got a little bit more money behind it beret of death now that looks really good but it's not bracers plus one anything of death it's cursed so that means every time we attack, something bad happens. Like, it'll either, like, drain SP or HP or... We, we don't want... We don't... We don't want... Cursed items are fun, but no. Uh, let's go ahead... Uh, we can equip that. that. That's not a bad substitute, because, like, it's only a couple of points... Well, I mean, it's, like... 13 points behind that. Uh, Attack-wise... But we also get two extra strength, and we don't we don't run the risk of dying. Uh, plus bracers, plus one. So let's move. No, all that. Okay, so that we can sell. So we're gonna do that. So. 713 gold. I mean, it is cursed. There are things that will nullify curse, too, but by the time we find one, there is a high likelihood we will not need that piece of equipment anymore. Alright, so we've got five medical herbs and angel wing let's go ahead and go for six and then we're going to come over to this gentleman here i believe that's a gentleman i don't know uh, and we are going to deposit things that we don't need so the force ring is actually an item that works for multiplayer which is something i haven't really talked about there is a multiplayer to this game I mean, I am playing it on an emulator, so I probably could play it multiplayer, but it's it's not not something I I can do readily at the moment. So I could get a better weapon. 350. Ooh, I could get the claw plus two. 36. 30. Really? Okay. Um. Uh, I, I think I'm alright for now. For 350 gold, that, that's alright. And then I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm good on armor. Especially since I've got something that, you know. Cotton Gloves of Ward. Oh, that one just has extra five defense, but it's also 1,700 gold. That's the thing. So many of these things are going to be so weirdly 
Christ. <laughs> Alright, so we'll go back. And we will continue onward. Now, let's go up here, and what do we got? We got slimes. Um, that is a lot of slimes. Okay, slimes are dead. Do you pop? Oh god, there's some ogres in here. There's three ogres in there. But my stun seems to be working. You can see the little uh, stars circling around his head. That shows that he has been successfully stopped. And we got a crate with a red shoe. That will always be there because that is a that's a quest type thing. Um, some hobgoblins. I do love that. I don't believe this game was done by Camelot, but the the enemy sprites do look like they were pulled from the Camelot versions, and I think that's adorable. Like I look at those hobgoblins, and like yeah, that reminds me of a hobgoblin from Shining Force 2. There's that guy over there. I didn't. I don't think I want to over here. Is there anything up here? No. I felt like there was something up there. I felt like there would be something up there, but there's not. So. Let's go kill this other guy, and there's a treasure chest over here, and... You gotta hit it. Oh, I also haven't used my level ups. And hey, we just got a cat coin. So, kind of glad I didn't spend the money on that. We haven't done our level ups. All right, so, um, let's do that. Kind of keep things somewhat even. And so now if we wanted to put more in stun, I needed to get another skill point. And so that's actually kind of what I'm going to do. I'm going to build up stun rather early. I also should probably do healing. Like, I should do healing, but I'm probably not gonna. Uh, and then critical is also another one that's, that's kind of useful. Let's go ahead and do healing for now. And so yeah, we will heal. One HP a tick. Kind of like our SP, so that's, that's good. That'll save us a little bit on... Uh, healing items. Oh, what was that? Oh, I got a goblin card. And a mystery vest. It's a mystery. And we got, oh god, that's a lot of bad guys. Oh god, that is a lot of bad guys. And we killed the enemy that was needed for that. So I'm going to wait a second just to heal back up to full. Because we've got a boss fight coming up soon. And a cape. And... Slime spawner. Was it just one? I was to say, what... Oh, you're a purple slime. Alright. I don't like being boxed in. And I know that's what you're trying to do. And one thing that you can notice, sometimes the enemies have really interesting weapons as well. Alright, there, there's a way to get down here. 
and ooh, a mystery cestus. Um, I might get these things appraised before we go into that fight, because having every little advantage in a game where grinding and loot drops are a thing. So Vest plus one and Cestus plus two. So not great, but not terrible. Like the Vest plus one is all right, because then I can sell the rest of it. We can trade the red shoe for a blue shoe that sells for like 500 gold. And then the, the, I saw a guy that said something about advanced mode. You can s trade the blue shoe for a fancy blue shoe. And that sells for 5,000 gold. But I have no idea what advanced mode is. Because I'm not super familiar with this game. Um, so I'm going to save that for now. We'll put that... And I need to I need to buy another angel wing. Like, what am I missing? There we go. I love how when we're in in town, just it takes from the bank. Like we don't even have to have money on us. And you don't have anything new. You won't have anything new until we complete Goblin Fort. So, let's go back and fight this boss. And anytime you see a red arrow for a next zone, that indicates that you're going to be fighting a boss. So we are fighting a giant goblin. I don't even know who this guy is. What's his name? Colonel Gobovich. All right, he doesn't look anything like a a, a Camelot designed character. Alright, so he is going to belch fire, then get dizzy for a second, then he's going to start swinging his axe around, and he's going to fall over, and then he's going to belch fire. However, he sucks. I hate this fight. His hitbox is so insane. His attack speed is incredible. Like, you can't hit him from, like, he's, he is spinning around. So, uh, when he is doing that, you can't be in front of or behind him or, like, any angle to him. And it's really hard to see what his uh, his hitbox is because that's not what I intended to do. Uh, because he only has like five frames of animation total. Like they literally just flipped. All right, they literally just. Like, you know, flip vertically his attack pose. Like, and I hate that that can hit you multiple times too. The girl has been moved to the wizard's to Wizari's palace. Okay, Wizari senses a balance between light and dark. To retain her power, she will sacrifice the girl. Captain Gully has the prison key. You will need it in Wazari's palace. And level up! And we get a golden treasure chest that gives us some Orichalcon. And we can't leave. Uh, the only way we can leave is this, which takes us back to the castle. Which we tell the king our exploits all to halt. You made it through the fort safely. Excellent. 
So they were planning an attack. And Rosari has Camille, that evil witch. Only way to her palace is through the graveyard. I hate asking you this right after you've returned. Go to Giant's Graveyard. Sure. Okay. Can do. Alright, so let's drop some stuff off. We did not get any money for killing him. We did get an Aura Calcum, which is a crafting material, but it's not one we can use right now because you have to come to this guy and you have to bring three materials and there's mithril, auracalcum, and dark matter. And kind of like Minecraft, depending on what you do and in what position you place it, uh, it'll it'll generate different equipment. Um, so like, you've, you've got, you know, a, a lot of possibilities. So like, auracalcum, 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 mithril, mithril, auracalcum, mithril. Like, it's, it's all very dependent on where you place things. So, uh, keep that in mind for when you have some of these materials, because you could have one of each and you can do something with each of those. Uh, but depending on the, the positioning, it's going to become something very different. So, thankfully, playing on an emulator, I can mess around with save states to kind of see what I can do. Ooh, a bronze claw. That might actually be worth it. Um, cat claw of old. Charge attack minus SP minus two. Maybe bronze claw plus two. I could probably afford that if I really try. Um, I'm not gonna write the second. But we also did level up, so let's go ahead and... Let's see. Also, this shows us where our... I thought I got you to 15. Oh no, I didn't save, did it? I guess it didn't. Okay, well, that's... Uh, that's okay. And we've got skill point. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and put one in in stun because that's gonna be very beneficial. And we don't need to heal. We can just leave. So now we can go to Giant's Graveyard, which is the next next area. And. There's another place down here that we can't go to yet, but that's listed as number four on here. I don't know how to get there. It's not a, a dungeon area. Probably to play with, uh, by talking to actually several. Uh, oh, okay, so there is a, there is a slight thing there. Let's, um, Oh, I, I guess I can't. I can't leave here. It won't let me just leave. Okay, well, we'll do that. Apparently, once you finish Goblin Fort, Grandma Kalita will appear in the hall. Um, ow. What are you guys doing? A cotton hood. Uh, and then there's uh, monsters we can kill to get... Uh, a a side quest. So, all right. So let me bring up the map for this place. Giant's graveyard. Okay. I don't. I don't like these bats. However, they die relatively easy. So one thing that this game doesn't really show you well is pathways <laughs> so like you can you can see it now but like there is nothing indicating that this is a, a walkway other than the slight change in 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 grass kind of matching oh god these guys skeletons suck 
because they hit really hard. Um, and they take a fair bit to die. What was a Hora? It requires claws. So, oh, so that's just a... That's just a... a fancy set of claws. Okay. I can, I can dig it. And... Break a gravestone, and we're gonna go down into there. And mummies! Mummies alive! And then, like, there's other things... The, the game is also not really good about telling... It's like, breaking that one bookshelf to get the prison key. Like, there's so many other things that look like you should be able to interact with, and you can't. And hey, I got a steer. And hey, more money. I was about to say, I feel like that was a trap. And it was. And I'm just gonna... barrel my way through you. Because I don't like any of this. Oh, God. You... Ow! You hit real hard. I don't... Oh, no. You hit very hard. Why are you... Why are you not dying? Why must you hit me so hard? And then we got a treasure chest there. How do we get that? Oh, and this is another thing. You can go out of bounds because you can kind of see there's stairs here. Oh god, you shoot fire. The hell? And some more bracers. Whew, this is why I said I'm probably gonna go back and redo the Goblin Ford. <laughs> Uh, because holy crap. In fact, I may get to, I may level up. How, how close am I to level? It doesn't really tell, it just tells you what your XP is. It doesn't really say what your to next level is. I don't like that. Um. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Oh, hey, bats. However, I can I can kill them in one hit with a critical. I like that. I don't, however, like this. And a level up. Fantastic. Another vest. Alright, I was about to say, you can shoot fireballs. I don't... I don't want to do this. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and level up. Um... And we'll put another point in stun. And we are going to go back to town. There's going to be a lot of going back to town in this. Just as a heads up. We're going to be going back to town a lot. Alright, let's go ahead and get some stuff identified. Cotton hood of fire resistance. Bracers plus two. Vest of Ice Resistance plus two, so that's actually better than what we've got. Um, so... We'll swap that out. No. And we'll swap that out. And then we'll sell. Sell, sell, sell! And 
buy a couple more of these. Don't really need a goddess tier, but I'll hold on to it. What is this? Adds one rose to weapon slot. A case. Alright, not that I need that because I... That's, that's useful for jobs that have more than access to two things. Uh, as a as a brawler, we only get claws and daggers. Uh, but if you were playing as a spellcaster, where you have like four different possibilities for spells, plus uh, you know using weapons like rods or daggers, uh, having access to that would be beneficial. Uh, however, it's not something we particularly need. 1033. Can I can I buy can I buy that? That is also 11,000. I missed that. 11,000. I am one gold short of that. I could sell the angel tier and buy it. But it's also the same as what I just found. So uh, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. I'm going to go ahead and redo Goblin Fort, and I'm going to get back to uh, the third section of the graveyard, and I'll pick up from there on the next episode. Uh, that way I've, I won't have i will add any of my level up skill points or anything that I get, uh, but I will probably deal with equipment and stuff off screen because that can take forever. But yeah, I will see you all in the next installment, so till then, later everyone.